good for the market garden. The soft set so you can see the uh, so you don't run over the crop when you're driving it. Can I do the snap thing? We got a McCoy, a W4. Tell me when you're done. Let me turn by Mr. Pavilla Tristan. Let me do it. Can I be in it? Yes.
Which was built in 1969 for Brisbane City Council. So this is it. And it was yeah. drawn from service in 1993. It's owned by my son Andrew Duffin. And he can just fill up a little bit about the bus. Yeah, the bus was one of the um, biggest bus of hamsters ordered in the world. 340, which Brisbane uh, ordered. And the first of them came in 1969. Uh, in 1984, the Brisbane City Council did up, I think it was about 20 or 30 of them. They refurbished them and basically got 30 new buses and they withdrew them in 1993 in this particular bus, number 546, was sold to Dunn's bus service and um, in July 2000 it was sold to a person who <laughs> <that> was <laughs> a private reservation <laughs> and then he um, sold it to our family and that's how it came here and it's currently about 30, 31 years old. Thank you Andrew. Now the silver bus that's following this Panther is a 1948 AEC Regal 3 with a Commonwealth yeah, Engineering so Sydney body on it. Go around the circle. Door. Hold it. Lift it up. That's it. Up a bit more. Do I close it up? <laughs> no, there you go. Yeah, you wide angle. There you go. Show mum the whole lot. I'm going to show mum what it looks like up there. Well, that looks like close enough. Yeah, I'm not like Brisbane, but I'm driving about 80 AC Regal 3. I'll let you tell you a little bit about this bus. Uh, when uh, did you get involved with the bus? I don't know. So, Mum, are you going to read it clearly? I got involved with this bus around about 12 months ago. As all know, she's the 1948 AC Regal Mark 3. Um, I've had a fair bit to start to do it, and uh, I'm very pleased to be in the bus. And how often do you drive this bus? How often does this bus go for a run? Oh, can you get it? Oh, very much. 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 Oh, I'll show her these ones. Next bus is the 1938 WLB Bedford, which went into service to Cousins of Toowoomba in 1938. I'll make sure she reads this uh, line. Being refurbished by Alice for Grand and Sunshine Coaches. Hello, Dad. <laughs> Turned this walker and presented to the late Jack McCafferty for the 60th anniversary. Okay. Hi. Hi.
the owner of a L, a white L, this registration number L A B A L B one five. So an A B one thirty dual cap international. Backwards. This okay. looks like it was an X fire engine or a PMG vehicle. This has taken the crew out to the site. Mm -hmm. These are very, very popular vehicles and they made thousands of them. Next we've got 9048 Bedford ML, belong to Mr. Stewart. This truck has been in the, uh, the, the uh, Stewart family all its life, because it's fourth new. Peace, come on, number one. Thank you. Next we've got the 1969 Dennis 600. This uh, recently come out of service about two years ago from the New South Wales Fire Brigade. This, this particular vehicle has got a... Uh, that's the first aid kit. XJ6 Jaguar engine in it. And that's the so other one. Jaguar engines in. And the firemen like this uh, particular fire engine because they handle well and they are pretty quick on the road. Just tell us about your, your Jaguar, Dennis. Brian. I will now show you I the flag. Well, I could have paid $1,300 for it. Well, the flag is something, but that's a four, okay? That. Yeah, that, you know that one. And, uh, and it was taken out of the uh, Jaguar Land Service in 1999. And when I uh, bought it up there, it was a kitty litter, so it's been used as a hazmat vehicle. That's from around there. I'll show you. Thank you. There. And also, I've got a few fire crew on board here. They're called afterburners. They've, they've seen better days. All, all my old fire men. Thank you. Thanks for that, Brian. Well, it looks beautiful now. I'm sure it wasn't like that when you got it. I will now show you, Daddy. Here I go to another dimension. I'm still taping, Dad. These have got the unusual yep. three-cylinder diesel engine in them. You know, these are very sought-after vehicles now. A lot of people yeah. seem to like these. Uh, they've, they've got a strange sound. They've got their own, own uh, exhaust note. And uh, just tell us about your truck. Um, this vehicle was purchased new in uh, 1959 by C.M. Fraser, so livestock people were worried. Um, they came in in 1967 was purchased by Weaver Brothers Farmers. Uh, we purchased the vehicle last year and still registered and running and restored to this day. Yeah, that's it. As I said, that's a three-cylinder diesel. Turn it off. Oh, the arm check on it. Yep. He's got the wrong hat on. I'm going to have to go back up to the record ticket, so... Rightio, I'll go up and get that form and bring it back to you. one of the tracks. <laughs> 